Though I'm missing you Welcome, angels, to Embrace Life Media TV. I'm Tiffany, and I am with you with a new video. And I'm just going to talk about something that has happened personally to me in the past week. Um, my sister, from my father's side, was brutally murdered. Uh, she was five months older than me. 28 years old, um, a mother of six, very independent, outgoing, just a beautiful person, was taken away from us tragically uh, last Thursday. I'm very speechless because about a week and a half ago, she was just at my house and we had our first meeting on real estate and we were going to partner and do some real estate together and I never thought that a week later I would be planning her funeral, writing her obituary, picking out her casket and telling her goodbye uh, physically for the last time. So since you know that happened I just felt like I needed to share it with someone who may have lost a sibling or a loved one or uh, a friend, whatever. And there was just a few things like I asked God, like, why and, you know, what is this here to teach me and why so sudden and she was a mother of six and she did it on her own and you know how are their lives going to be um, I learned a lot about myself that I never really let love in and this is my sister and I loved her and I was proud of her but I guess even I had somewhat of a shield up but we were getting closer and for whatever ridiculous reason, I guess I was embarrassed to admit that I love people, if that makes sense. Because I'm always trying to be so strong and hard. But anyhow, I just wanted to say to those of you who are out there, you have to be careful of the choices that you make and the people that you surround yourself with. Now... I guess allegedly or we don't have any victims yet. I mean, sorry, we don't we don't know who the shooter is at this point and I'm not pointing fingers, but she did something out of the norm and she went to a bar and she was with a gentleman and apparently maybe he had beef with some people or some people were after him and and he noticed the people and then they, they said, let's get out of here. And they tried to, to leave basically to, I guess, run for their life in a sense. And they didn't even make it around the corner when someone opened fire on her and him. And she was only shot twice. And I think he was shot seven times. But she died and he survived. Um... But I don't know this guy. I'm not here to point fingers at him or, you know, blame him. I pray for him and his recovery. But what I do want to say is you need to be careful who you surround yourself with. Everyone doesn't deserve to be in your space. Everyone doesn't deserve to, um, to, to be around you. You need to know who it is that you are... Um, that you're surrounding yourself by. But through it all, I just want to let anyone know if they lost a sibling or a loved one to never, ever let it.
steal your joy and break you down. Recently, I've just been saying I'm bruised, but I'm never broken because although it hurts, although I wake up crying, go to bed crying, I'm, you know, I'm in and out. I will always use it to, to fuel me and to go further with Embrace Life Media because she was ready for a new a new level and a new life. And you may have a sibling out there that you need to represent for and you need to make proud and you need to pursue your dreams or whatever that is. So never let it make you bitter. Don't let it steal your joy. Honor your feelings if you want to cry. If you want to be angry, if you want to lash out, do what you need to do for the moment. But know that all things work towards your greater good and that you can overcome even the most tragic things in life. I mean, I grew up with my sister and we had a very close bond. And I never thought that I would be even making a video like this or or saying these words and it's crazy but I just have to trust God I have to know that he has a greater plan and you need to know he has a greater plan for you as well and do whatever you think would have made them proud you know I feel like my purpose now is greater, far greater than myself, far greater than the little reasons why I wanted to make it in life. I have to because my sister didn't, she didn't see the chance. She didn't, she didn't live to see the day, but she will live through me and I will do everything to make her proud. I pray for her. The person that she was shot with, I pray for the shooter. I pray for his soul and his spirit because he, he'll have his day. And um, I just want you guys to know, just keep going. Keep embracing life.